Hey guys, so now you're going to get to make something a little bit more personalized than the uh, beginning problem shape. So what we're going to do now is make a simple name tag. I've actually got to make a tag for the laptop trolley that we have at school um, because the other key tag that we had on there broke. So selecting start 2D sketch. Um, so this is going to be a couple different parts. So the first section is going to be extruding a rectangle, um, but you can actually do it in whatever shape you'd like. I don't really mind. So I'm going to make a simple rectangular one. Um, trying to stay about the same sh um, size though, so we don't use too much plastic when we're printing these off. So 50 millimeters by 25 millimeters. Okay, so quite a quite a small name tag. Um, and then we're actually going to extrude that five millimeters. So yeah, extrude that five millimeters, and then we've got our basic shape set down for our key tag. So selecting that, because now we're going to draw on it, and we're going to write what we want on there. So we can go up here and use the text tool, and we've got to decide how big we want our text to be. So I want it about that big, taking up most of the space. Um, and my text is going to be, whoops, laptops. All right, that simple. So for in that size, so you can see you can different sizes, and that's quite small. So I'm probably going to go aim for about nine millimeters, but you may have to have a bit of a play with it. So you can see there, that's still way, way too small. So each one of those letters is nine millimeters high. So what you need to do, if you want to change this, is right click out of the text icon like I just did, and then double click back on it. Now to make any changes to this text, so you actually have to highlight it. And then you can change the size. So I'll try something a bit bigger. We'll try 12 millimeters. And then we've gone way too big. So moving that down a little bit, need to go for the middle ground. So highlighting it again. And we're going to try 10 millimeters. Still a bit too big. And so we maybe maybe nine was where we were supposed to be, and it just I didn't select it correctly. That'll be it, okay. So having a little bit of a play. Um, so now what we want to do, we want to actually cut that out. Um, I don't actually want to cut it all the way through. I only want to cut it about halfway. So what I can actually do, I can go 3D model, extrude, click on the words. Now they want to come up, but when I 3D print that, it's going to make them rather flimsy because they're going to be coming out of the um, work there. So I can actually go cut instead. Now I've got the option I can go all the way through or like I just said, I only want to go about halfway. So I extruded that five millimeters before. So to cut halfway, I've only got to go 2.5 in. So there we go. So that's worked quite well. Fantastic. Um, last thing I want to do, I want somewhere to actually attach this key ring to. So I'm going to have to go to create sketch again. And up in this top corner, um, I'm going to create a circle. I'll probably make the circle three millimeters. So then as you can see with that though, I haven't actually made that very centralized. It's a little bit off and that would mess with my OCD because I'm a little bit like that. Um, so what I can do is I can select that and select that, which didn't work. So let's try again. Dimension from there to there. It's not liking me today, but I can go from there anyway. And we'll start try going three. So that'll make that right. Are you going to like me today? There we go. So that worked eventually. Three. There we go. So getting your measurements in. So now it's centralized. I can see it's the same distance from that edge as from that edge. As well, I've got my dimensions there to tell me that. So that's fine. So now I'm going to go three model extrude. And this is the case where with this circle, we are going to extrude, cut it all the way through. Um, so what I can do for that, I can, I can type in five. Or I could literally just go like that and it's going to cut it all the way through and that's all done. Um, now, if you want to do anything a little bit fancier, being careful not to um, overlap any of these, but you can actually fillet things to make them nice and smooth. So I'm not going to go two, I'm going to go one millimeter fillets. And this will get rid of all the sharp edges off your work. Also save me and the school a little bit of money with the plastic that it's using because it's not going to use as much plastic with these edges. Um, just like that. And so as you can see, that's filleted all those edges. You can also do the insides of your circle. And done. So then you can see I've made all nice smooth edges. And that's all complete. So now make sure you save your work. So saving it. Um, we don't want to save it in our shapes file. We want to save it in our new file and we'll go 
Um, we go inventor practice. I spelled that wrongly, but that doesn't matter. Whatever. Key tag. Key tag and save. Okay, so now that's saved it as an IPT, which is an inventor file. Um, what we want to do as well, because I want to 3D print these for you guys, you need to save them as an SDL file as well. Um, so to do that, you go down to print, you don't click on it, you go hover over it and then send to 3D printing services and see it says SDL file. You always go into options and double check that it's in millimeters. Sometimes people send me things and they're in inches and they're absolutely massive, like size of this room massive. So you need to make sure you check that it's in millimeters, okay? And then I go OK. Inventor practice, key tag SDL, save. So now I have my two files in there. It always opens up with that as well. And that's all finished. Hey guys, so moving on with our basic um, CAD projects that we've been making to 3D print. Um, now we're going to try making a spinning top. So this is going to involve a new um, use of the tool Revolve. So what you're going to have to do is go start 2D sketch. And then setting this up as we usually do by selecting the bottom, uh, the top plane, and then rotating the movement cube. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to use the line tool to create our, um, different lines. So moving up this side, we're going to make this five millimeters, and then because that's tiny, we can zoom in a little bit, and then we want to go up. We want to go up twenty millimeters. We want to go across twenty millimeters. And then what we want to do is right click, go OK, line, and select here, and we need to go up 50 millimeters. OK, so once we've done that, we'll click the square again to make sure we've got everything in view. Click over there so you can see that sort of, if you imagine in your mind cutting a spinning top in half and then into quarters, that's kind of what the side profile of a quarter would look like, isn't it? So if I right click and go OK, so we've got our corner there done. So if I go 3D model and revolve, now I can select my axis. So it's just asking for an axis because it's already selected my face there. So if I click on that, and then it will revolve around. Um, and you can select full or you can select different angles. Okay, we want to go full around and zoom out. And as you can see, we've got our spinning top. All right, looks fantastic. So now the last thing we can do, um, just like we did with the name tag, is you can add some fillets in to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, get rid of all the sharp edges. Okay, and so now that looks a lot nicer. Look, it actually looks kind of on on the computer. It actually looks like something you could almost buy, um, one of the old Beyblades or something. So now we want to save it. So remembering, we want to save it as both an IPT and an SDL, so we can three D print it. So we'll it spinning top. Whoops. Spinning top, okay, so saving that as an IPT, remember it says IPT down there, save that like that, and then we also want to save it as a 3D printing file, so go down to print, don't click on it, just hover over it until this comes up, and then always double checking, we've got it in millimeters, okay, okay, and then it's going to save it as spinning top again, alright, and that's all completed, now remember it always comes up with this one, so leaving that like that, and we're all complete.